Oh my gosh, guys. You guys, what happened? Look at this. Two freaking fish, same time. Hey, what's up everyone? Today, we'll be doing some fun big bait fishing again. And this time, I'm throwing the Shimano Arma Joint 190 SF. This is a floating glide bait with multi joints. It's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fun bait to throw. And we will see if we slay some fish today. Anyway, let's get to it, because it's gonna be a long day. <sighs> oh man, oh man, another day just like this. Sending out the kayak on the partially frozen lake. But this time is a lot better, as you see. It's opened up just right there, so no more hard work. And um, yeah, I'm glad uh, <laughs> it's a lot better than three weeks ago, which was insane, the lake effect. Uh, from the Great Lakes blowing down some cold wind into New Jersey, you know, it's froze one inch thick, you know, that's that's pretty insane But uh, anyway today is still cold uh, but uh, it should warm up to like 44 degrees and um, It's a little bit wind right now. It is 10 30 So um, yeah, I woke up a little later. So potentially this could have been thicker But uh, yeah, let's get out there and throw some nice big baits again. It's pretty addictive. Amazing looking bait today. The Arma Joint 190 SF Flash Boost, baby. Let me take this out for you. It comes with an extra tail. You see that right there? And the tail is interesting. It's actually a, like a soft plastic tail. And this thing right here weighs almost two ounce. So, yeah, man. Whew, I'll be tired throwing this guy today. So it's pretty cool that they came uh, packaged up this way. You can see the tail has a little plastic thing. So, I'll just Open this baddie up. There we go. Oh, don't want to pull it out. Don't pull it out, Jimbo. Or anyone else watching the video. But yeah, if you look at here, you can just take this off and replace it. But yeah, it's super soft. Don't mix it with any sort of uh, <laughs> Z-Man or Nico bait stuff, all right? But here you go. Look at this bait. Not a giant bait, but it's cool where this joint right here actually bends this way. So when you actually cast, you see the weights right there in the bottom right here, right? This guy's gonna fly out this way, making it a little bit more aerodynamic compared to other baits that, you know, stops kind of right there. See that? This joint right here is actually pretty hefty, okay? Um, so yeah, let's see how this thing goes. I'll put on my setup and uh, yeah, see how it swims in the water and see if we catch some big fish. All right, so this is my setup for the day. I got the 13 Fishing Concept A3. This is a old reel that I had way before cast king days because uh, I was with uh, 13 fishing for a little bit before casting and um, I have casting Destron braid 30 pounds to 20 pound Varivis their floral uh, floral line and then I have about six inch of let me show you I actually have it right here wire tippet from Rio okay so this wire bite 20 pounds Hopefully no pickerels will bite this off. I mean, I could cut this with my scissors, so that thing is good. But anyway, let's put this on. And by the way, that rod right there is the Dobbins. I didn't talk about the rod yet. I'm such a mess. Woke up late. Kid up been sick and he's been waking up so many times at night, which sucks. Uh, so I'm kind of tired. Dobbins rod, Champion XP. There you go, the DC 794 SB 7'9". So yeah, this thing uh, floats. So if we were just to reel this in, wow, that's a nice swim. Look at that. And when you twitch it, look at that. All right, enough chat. Let's chat more splat is what I used to say when I play MMO RPG games. You know, those games that takes all your time and money. <laughs> now fishing take all my time and money. So I think I have a pretty good pattern for uh, my fishing on this lake, but this time of the year is tough. December, pretty much getting closer to winter. 33 degrees air, but the water temp right now is 40. Uh, hopefully with the later morning, I will hit 40 degrees very soon. And uh, you know, the water will stay pretty high, but once it dips any lower, I don't think I'll get any big strikes. So it's gonna be like a tough day. So I uh, anticipate maybe one or two bites, mainly from pickerels, cause they don't care. Bass though, you know, that'd be nice to get a few bass bites. But man, this, this setup is heavy. Like this reel here is heavy. I like the Tatula Elite because it was lighter, but I think uh, there's a problem with that reel right now, uh, which I'll probably cover in a different video. The drag basically busted because I haven't maintained it for a while. 
almost two years old and uh, I fish mainly max drag for snakehead fishing, you know, using frog fishing. So um, yeah, this is a bigger reel, so I should be able to handle this, but yeah, it's heavier. Anyway, I'm gonna just get to the magic codes, but before I get to the magic codes, I always like to fish certain spots. So um, bear with me, we might catch fish here before we get to the magic codes. No, 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 no. Yeah, Jimbo, what the heck just happened? Glad this thing floats. Yoink! <laughs> One thing I didn't do when I was at home when I was tying this this morning is that I forgot to tighten my knot a little bit more. We are throwing heavier baits, so we gotta use the right tools. You know, you could use gloves. I got this tool right here from AliExpress, basically a knot, knotting tool. Basically, I could wrap it around like this and actually put a lot of pressure on it slowly and actually tightens up really well. Because if you guys think about this, this is almost a two ounce lure. So if you don't tighten it properly before you snip your tag ends, it's definitely gonna slip. And one thing I gotta point out, a lot of people don't do, is pulling the tag line to tighten as well. So um, see this tag line right here? If you look at most of my stuff, well, you guys probably can't see it here. I might have to do a different indoor video during the winter. You can see that it's tightened really well on one end and it's not on the other end. That is because, well, I'm using thick line and the back end, the tag end, is not tightening. So um, you could put a little knot here and then put pliers and pull it if you want. You could bite it with your mouth. I'm not biting it because the water down here, whew, there's some dead animals here. I found a dead deer last time. <laughs> so you have to put a little knot here and uh, get your pliers and uh, your pliers should have like those grooves on it, right? If you just put it right in between one of those and it's pull, you should be able to tighten it a little bit more and you should be good to go. Anyway, uh, enough chat, let's go fishing. That cast right there looks interesting. Like I'm not casting uh, super hard because this is some heavy stuff and I'm just sitting down. But I'm watching this lure bend. It's not spiraling out of control, you know, like with like a, you know, typical glide baits, right? So yeah, that joint right there is pretty cool. Very, very cool indeed. I wonder if, uh, you know, custom lure makers who make a lot of lures, can they actually do something very similar without, you know, getting busted on uh, IP? But this, this is pretty cool. This is totally pretty cool. Yeah, this thing right here that bends this way. Whew. And don't forget the flash boost. If you guys are looking at this right there, see the little wire, um, well, spring holding this little blade right there. It does a lot of flash. So I could just leave this out there. It's, it's a floating lure, right? And um, potentially, yeah, that's a good cast right there. I mean, wow, it flies with a soft cast. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna say, um, I could just do you know small twitches like that and just leave it there. And potentially they'll just nab it because of the flashing. It's pretty cool. And yeah, there's, there's some fish out there. I don't know open. All right, let's go Majestic and Kestrel. There's so many fish out here today. Throwing a small, tiny little bait, swim bait, three inch minnow. Middle Z, okay, Z man. Let's see if we slay some fish today. It's a little windy. <laughs> but what I want to do is uh, portray this rod a little bit more because I haven't been uh, spending some time with this rod. <laughs> I feel like this rod is uh, pretty good for the value. For those who like to, you know, throw similar baits like me, this is more of a, a finesse swim bait type casting or, you know, top water rod. For those who like to fish the bottom for super sensitivity, this won't be it, but you know, there you go, look at that. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> this is good. Oh no, I swiped it in the belly. See, things happen like this sometimes, it happens, it happens. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I get you up without lifting you, you off the belly, that'd be best. Here you go, look at that. By accident, hit him right here in those fins. Let's see if I get off easy. Actually, it is easy, so that's good. Here you go, first fish of the day. He, he swung at it and likely, uh, you know, I hooked him in his belly, but off you go. Once in a while, because the joint goes back a lot, you may get the hooks hooked up, but uh, yeah, so far it's only like three times in the uh, past half an hour. Yeah, kind of gets annoying. Uh oh. Ah, uh, yep. Once in a while, like I said, this happens and it stinks. 
And uh, yep, tango again, tango again. I see a tree right there. <clears throat> Let's drag this thing over the tree. Now there's plenty of times. This isolated tree usually holds one or two fish, like decent fish. And um, that's a fish, that's a fish, that's a fish. Oh my gosh, that's a fish. Dude, 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 this is amazing fish. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, it's two fish, same time. Two fish at the same time. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys. You guys, what up, please? Look at this. Two freaking fish, same time. Two fish. Oh my gosh, this is epic. Let me land them both. Let me land them both. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah. Come on. Come on. Big bass dreams. Let's go. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Oh man. <laughs> Woo! Dude, guys, two freaking bass at the same time. Shimano, baby. Woo! Look at this freaking beast. Beast mode. This thing gotta be at least a five pounder. Wow. I don't have my scale, so I'm not gonna weigh it. I'm just gonna let it go. Let's go, everyone. Let's go. I mean, look at this freaking fish. It goes right in. It's freaking huge. Huge. Yes. <laughs> All right, off you go. Off you go. Gotta go quick. Here. Resuscitate. Oh, there you go. Next guy right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here you go. Smaller guy. Off he goes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Fish, fish, another one. Wow, this wind blown. Oh my gosh, this is a big one. This is another big one. Oh my gosh, second big one of the day. Huge, might be even bigger. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ah, <laughs> dude, this is big bass lure. Look at this, look at this. He's flopping everywhere. Holy crap, this is a mondo. I am pulling out scale for this one. Look at that. Look at that, boys and girls. Uncle Jimmy just did something amazing. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, 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 oh. Stop, 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 stop. Ah. It actually looks a little smaller, but still a beast. I can still fit the fist in there. So, oh my gosh. Hold up. I have to weigh this. So, let me see if I could put this here because this is a floating net. If it wants to swim out, it swim out. But I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Come on, dude. Get back in the water. Just like that. If you go out, it's fine. Jimbo won't be mad. Did it shut off? It did. Oh my gosh. All right, so uh, this is the old scale, the battery's dead. So I don't, I won't be able to weigh this guy, but it's okay. It's okay, we know this is big as Jimbo's fist. Off you go. Ah. <laughs> Man, another flat from Jimbo, but it's okay. <clears throat> I have to say, this is definitely a slow day, as in, you know, slow bites. It's about two hours in and only caught three fish using the big bait <laughs> and a freaking uh two at one time Ooh, super epic but yeah man i'm getting tired already but i just don't want to put this down it's pretty addictive <laughs> pretty darn addictive for a guy who's been throwing small lures for a long time and wow there are a lot of fish here um this is fun this is very fun i think i'm a uh, do some more workouts in the winter time and uh, when the spring time comes, woo, I think I'm gonna be stocking up with some bluegill-like patterns and uh, give it a go. This is so fun. Fish! Oh man, another Mardo. Got it all over my face, dude. Dude. Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. All right. Let's pop some of these hooks off your face for a second. Push one. Push two. And, uh, yeah, not a big fish, but man, this, 
this lure is just killing it. Here we go, guys. And look, check this guy out. Look at that. He got pecked by a bird before. <laughs> All right, off you go, buddy. Yeah. Fish, come on. <laughs> Woo. It took my tail. It took my tail. Oh my gosh. Ay, yeah. Well, does it still swim without the tail? Let's take a look. Oh, I do want to keep fishing this lure. Yeah, it still has a little glide glide on it, so it's okay, but I really like the tail on it. Let me see if I catch a fish without the tail on first, and then uh, if I have to, I'll put the last tail on, but uh, it looks like I will have to buy more tails because this lure is banging. Yeah, it, I'm looking at the action. I probably do better with uh, the tail added on. All right, well, without the tail, I think it's not swimming as great. So I'm putting a tail on. I mean, I rarely come out to throw stuff like this, so I don't want to spend too much time not having a tail on. So let me put the tail on and uh, let's go back fishing. All right, folks, it took forever for me to shimmy that thing in there, but it should stay. But maybe because my hands are freaking cold, I mean, it is cold day, I had a uh, a little trouble doing it, but it is back on there and uh, let's go slay some fish. Fish, fish. Okay, okay. Not a big gigantor. Actually, I changed my mind. It's a big one. It's a good one. All right, all right, chill, 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 chill. Oh man, oh man, oh man, chill. Oh yeah, dude, another big mondo. Dude, how many big fish am I gonna catch today with this guy? How many big fish? Oh man, look at that big fat belly. I am loving it. Look at that. All right, man. Off you go. <sighs> if I had a tournament today, whoo, I'd probably be winning. Fish, fish. Wow, just going up this side already. Got another bite. I think it's a pickerel this time. Looks a little long. Yes, it is. Right, right. Yep, yep, yep. Thrashing, thrashing. All right. Death row. Oh man, look at that. He tangled up my net now. Uh, hey, 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 easy, easy. Oh no, he got his eye a little bit. Oh no. Uh, all right, he didn't get his eyeball. He just went in his socket and out right there at the bone. I got, got rid of that. And uh, oh, death row, I hate the death row. Oh. It makes everything tough. E -e -e -e. Oh, he broke his, ah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right, chill, 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 chill. Hey, hey, stop, stop. You're gonna rip your face off if you keep doing that. Just let me untangle. Yeah, I shouldn't have net him. Trouble hooks, death rolling fish, nets. It's the worst thing ever. And this, this thing right here went through that. But I'll take my time. I don't want to hurt him any more than I have to. All right, got him untangled there. And uh, let's get this in here. Got him off. Let's put him in the water for a second. Hey, hey, hey. All right, he already wanted to go. Whew, that's what's up. All right, so uh, <laughs> many, many bass. And finally, my first pickerel of the day. Let's try that cove earlier. And also, I'm a fish some of the open water spot where I saw a lot of fish activity like whew, when I first came out it was pretty crazy looking when you have a, a bay area and a main lake area it usually holds some fish so I definitely want to keep fishing it for a little bit now that I know this bait works <laughs> really well I seem to cover the water and uh, find out where those fish are at and hopefully they'll slam this awesome bait like this <laughs> bait right here whoo I wish they made a harder tail version. Like, I, I know there's some uh, baits that have uh, like a rubber tail that's uh, like harder, okay? And I feel like it's sturdier and it might last a little longer. All right, I know there's like a tree 
uh, branch that fell down from this big tree right here. And it always hold crappies and stuff, but uh, over the years it deteriorated and started to go a little lower, but it's still there. I saw it on a side structure scan earlier this year. Okay, so hopefully it might hold one or two fish right here because it's wind blown. But yeah, I'm gonna fish this cove a little bit longer uh, than uh, when I first came out. Hopefully we'll get one or two fish that wants to bite this. <laughs> and then I'm gonna start circle back around on the other side and you know fish the other windblown wall and back down and rinse and repeat. Oh, fish. It's a nice one. What do we have? Another pickerel? It's diving down, so it might be a bass. It looks like a big bass. It's a giant bass. Oh my gosh. Another big one. Another big one. Oh, 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 oh. Don't, don't lose my uh, scale. Another big bass. Yes. Oh my gosh. This, this is insane. Insane. This is the biggest bass of the day. It could be a six pounder, but I don't freaking have a scale. This is huge, huge, huge freaking fish. Look at that. Oh man, how many fish so far? Freaking amazing. Look at this big chunky. All right, let's put him back in the water. Come on, you could do it. Yeah. Oh, you guys see that? He just nailed it right here. Not a giant, but still considered a pretty big fish. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hooked right into my uh, bungee cord. Oh, no. Can I just unhook you and just call it a day? Yeah, not too big of a fish, but <laughs> I'll take it. Off you go, buddy. All right, time to fix my stuff. <laughs> this is probably the worst one ever. The hooks hooked up on each other and then uh, one hook hooked up to the line. Oh, 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 there he goes. Did you guys see that? He smashed me. He smashed me. He smashed me. That was a big freaking bass. All right, so suck around this place. Got a few nips, but uh, the bite died down. So uh, I don't know how long I'm gonna fish. My arm is about to break. But I am gonna fish this cove for a little bit and then I'm probably gonna call it. Let's hope we nail some big fish here. <laughs> oh, fish! I just said it too! What the heck, man? What? What? What do we have here? Big bass. Big bass. Not a big bass. What is going on, boys and girls? Dude, this is the biggest fish of the day. This gotta be like a six pounder. Oh my gosh, I can't even lift it. Oh my gosh. Oh, holy crap, this is huge. I mean, look at this. This is huge. Humongous. All right, one last look. Big Mondo, off you go. Whew, two to lose. Wow, wow, oh wow. That was one epic catch. I mean, I caught two fish at the same time before in different sort of rigs like the double zoom fluke rig I've done it high low rig or you know double drop shot rigs but you know there's always something about catching two fish using one single lure this is my second time doing it and whew, it's freaking epic I mean at my second cast right it catching the second fish you guys heard me right before um, you know catching that fish I was chuckling to myself and whew, I'm still chuckling today I've been chuckling while editing the video I've been chuckling uh, you know, think about it right now, talking to you guys. So, <laughs> it's amazing. It's so amazing. I mean, the first time I've done it, I think it was the same feeling too. I did it in Hawaii. I caught two smallmouth bass fishing streams in the Hawaii mountains. And uh, man, two smallies on a whopper popper. It was a, it was a bang fight. <laughs> but anyway, let's talk about today's trip. Uh, most of my catches today were between 11.30 and 2 o'clock. Uh, mainly at noon, uh, but in the morning when I first started, it was very slow. I went all around. You guys saw it was a tangled lure. The lure itself tangled a lot, but I feel like uh, it worked pretty well. So I'll be exploring other lures that's similar, uh, and then um, 
yeah, I still I still do like this lore and uh, I'll be using it a lot more often. <laughs> but um, yeah, there is another video coming out uh, for later in the afternoon. I was fishing basically from like 2.30 to 4 o'clock and I was using slobber knocker and I, and I was slaying a little bit too. But uh, I did throw this armor joint a few more times that day because it was addictive. I mean, like, dude, I was catching big fish. Maybe I'll catch some more, right? But uh, it was no dice. Yeah, like I said, most of the fish that bit the big lure happened to bite it around, you know, middle of the day. You know, winter mode fishing is pretty great. I mean, this is like almost the middle of December, but, you know, the water temperature do dictate that it is winter. Start off uh, low 40s and uh, end it low 40s. 42 degrees was pretty much the highest during the day for the water surface. And uh, yeah, it was tough fishing, but very, very rewarding. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I definitely have enjoyed it while I was editing and uh, reliving that moment. <laughs> it, was, it was epic. Anyway, the fish don't wait. Get out there, catch some fish before it freezes over. And if it's frozen over, be safe, all right? Don't go out on the ice if you believe it's not safe. All right, to the lose.